Monday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, September 18, 2023. The Young Ambassadors for Christ Gospel Reflection, in Luke 7 verses 1 to 10, we witness a profound lesson in faith. A Roman centurion, an outsider, approaches Jesus for help. Despite societal divisions, the centurion displays remarkable trust, acknowledging the power of Jesus' mere word. Jesus marvels at this faith, declaring it greater than any he's found in Israel. This narrative calls us to recognize that faith transcends boundaries, uniting us all under God's grace. The centurion's story reminds us that God's love extends to everyone, regardless of background or status. It challenges us to embrace faith with a heart open to miracles, knowing that in God's eyes, we are all equal recipients of his boundless compassion. Christ is the only answer, always and forever. Have a blessed week ahead. Sunday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, September 17, 2023. The Young Ambassadors for Christ's Gospel Reflection. In today's Gospel, Jesus teaches us about the boundless nature of forgiveness. Peter asks him how many times he should forgive, suggesting seven times. Jesus responds with a radical idea, not seven, but 77 times. This means forgiveness should be limitless, reflecting God's mercy towards us. The parable of the unforgiving servant reinforces this lesson. The servant owes a staggering debt, impossible to repay. Yet his master forgives it all. However, when the servant encounters a fellow servant who owes him a much smaller sum, he refuses to forgive and has him thrown into prison. This parable serves as a powerful reminder that we too have been forgiven a debt we could never repay, our sins before God. In light of this, how can we withhold forgiveness from others? Christ is the only answer, always and forever. Forgiveness is not about condoning wrongs, but about releasing the burden of anger and resentment. It sets us free from the chains of bitterness. As we reflect on this gospel, let's strive to be forgiving like our merciful God, extending compassion and love to those who have wronged us.